join me as we explore the beautiful world city of Intramuros in Manila, Philippines. There's no better place to learn about Manila's rich history than Intramuros. In this video, we'll check out the walls, gardens, souvenir shop, monument and churches that bring us back to the past of the city of Manila. First on our list is the Puerta Real Gardens. It is located just right before the main entrance of Intramuros. The charm of the gardens transports you to an era when our ancestors graced the streets of Intramuros. I couldn't help but get amazed with how it stood against the changing times, though it was succumbed to the ravages of the British invasion in 1762, it was rebuilt and relocated in 1780. During the Battle of Manila, the gate sustained damages but was lovingly restored again in 1969. As I explored this stunning place, I couldn't help but reflect on my college days when I just come to visit this place to have a breath of fresh air in the bustling city of Manila. Intramuros is also known as the Old Manila. It plays a significant role in the heart of every Filipino as it serves as a reminder of the Spanish era. This site is a place of abundant tropical greens and coconut palms surrounded by 18th century stone walls. Tramuros, from the Spanish word that means within walls, refers to the fortified city founded at the mouth of the Pasig River shortly after 1571 by the Spanish conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi. The walls not only protected Intramuros from man-made disasters, but it also fended off threats from Chinese pirates, Dutch forces, and other invaders. The best way to explore Intramuros attractions is the walk around. This will get you to appreciate the beauty of the area's architectural history and other historic sites. One of my favorite places to go to in Intramuros is the arts and antique store, Silahi Center. This shop sells antiques and Philippine arts and handicrafts. With its wide selection of artifacts, an entire floor serving as an art gallery, and its location in a beautiful old building, the shopping experience is more like visiting a museum than a store. Entrance to the store is free and you're welcome to browse around. Sales staff are not aggressive and won't make you feel pressured into buying anything. Memorare Manila 
this monument is erected in memory of more than 100,000 defenseless civilians who were killed during the battle for the liberation of Manila in 1945. Plaza San Luis is a cultural commercial complex that houses various restaurants, an art and craft store, and the Casa Manila or Manila House Museum. I'm waiting for you. The house is accessed through the Zaguan, the wide stone paved passageway under the house which leads to the patio. The Zaguan and patio are paved with piedra china or Chinese granite which were once used as a ballast in Chinese trading junks. The enclosed courtyard or patio is a common feature of Spanish colonial houses in Intramuros. The patio served to cool the rooms of the house facing it. Casa Manila is a remarkable house that takes us back in time to experience a Principalia's domestic life in the 1800s. It is a living museum that features the lifestyle of an affluent Filipino family during the late Spanish colonial period. Just beside Casa Manila is San Agustin Church. It is the Philippines' oldest stone church. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, this church was built in 1571. A few steps away is the Manila Cathedral. This majestic cathedral was also built in 1571. It represents one of the most identifiable structures not just within Intramuros but within the city of Manila. The current cathedral is the fifth to be made after natural disasters and World War II severely damaged the previous ones. Palacio del Gobernador or the Palace of the Governor Generals is one of the edifices found inside Intramuros. It is a stone throw away from Manila Cathedral. Fort Santiago is the Philippines' ancient Spanish fortress. It is one of the most precious Philippine landmarks as it is where Dr. Jose Rizal, Philippine national hero, spent his last days before his execution. To know more about this site's rich history, you can check out my separate video where I explored the hidden corners of Fort Santiago. Walking around Intramuros will make you feel like you're walking in 16th century Manila. Complete with the cobblestone streets and horse-drawn carriages, its charm is definitely worth a visit. 
Thank you for exploring Intramuros with me. Make sure to subscribe and check out my other travel videos in Manila and around the world. Next on Explore with Matt, join me as I travel south to explore the Taj Mahal of the Philippines, the ruins of the Lisay City, Negros Occidental. See you on my next travel adventure.